Hey there, this is Tim Davis, a developer advocate at Astronomer. And this week, our team is continuing to cover the features that we are the most excited about in the new Airflow 3.0 release. Today, we're covering backfills, one of the most historically requested features by the Airflow community. Many common use cases require backfills. Data quality issues, sensor outages, or business rule changes often require reprocessing historical data. But in Airflow 2.x, that meant running CLI commands that could easily terminate if your session was lost. At Astronomer, we have seen some very clever workarounds to get better backfill functionality and even implemented some ourselves. But fortunately, these are no longer needed. Airflow 3 brings first-class backfills that are managed by the scheduler. That means you can trigger, monitor, pause, or cancel them through either the UI or the API, all synchronously, all with proper monitoring. We recommend everybody move to using the backfills feature if you need to reprocess historical data rather than running a separate DAG or any other previously used workarounds. You can learn more about implementing backfills in our guide linked in this video description. And if you're not already running Airflow 3 and want to get started, a free trial of Astro is a great way to do that. 